Al Rohin is finding his way as a vet. Peter, after 40 years in the profession, recently became a new boy again when he moved to Grace Lane. Where he's impressed Caris and Katrina. He's just basically from day one just become straight away part of the team and Caris really. Part of the furniture. Um, especially walking out on day one and making us all nice cups of teas. That always goes down well. You can't beat that, can you? There he is. Here he is, the man himself. <laughs> Can you come and fix my dog? Why? What's the matter? He's right. doing too much, running around too much. Oh, have you? Have you hurt yourself? <laughs> is your owner expecting too much of you? Oh, oh dear. No, no, no. <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell, Uncle Peter, tell Uncle Peter all about it. And Peter's come up with a unique way of trying to find out a bit more about his colleagues. If you saw yourself as an animal, what would you see yourselves as? Oh, any animal or a dog? Well, I, I, I would say a dog. Oh. Yeah. If you saw yourself as a, 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 a big, what, what big would you see yourself as? Maybe a chihuahua. It's like small and feisty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. How about you? Something less invidable, well trained, working dog. Like a Labrador. A Labrador. Labrador. Loyal. 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 Steady away. Reliable. Stoic. Steady away. Yeah. Like, like your food, do you? Oh, yes. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Did you used to have black hair? Brown hair. Brown and, hair. Yeah. Chocolate Labrador, then, yeah. Chocolate yeah. They're always uh, the most, uh, most uh, mad as well, so... <laughs> I love working here. I love the banter. Whatever type of work you do, I think it makes a day go by. I wish it was a nice brown colour again, but there's nothing you can do about it, is there? Well, we could dye it. What sort of colour do you think? Ooh. Purple to go with the uniform. Yeah, purple to go with the uniform yeah, and like, put a few stripes in it, I think, as well, maybe. That would impress the farmers, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 you know, in the veterinary world, we have happy days, we have sad days, but uh, working with these people here, it's uh, absolutely brilliant. They come to work with a smile on their face. Yeah, they're great. 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 they Right? Very good. I don't know whether I feel happy or not now. I'm going to go away and think about it. <laughs> <laughs> now Julian's running the practice in Weatherby. How are you, Pop? He needs to find ways to relax. I'll give her a jab to take the swelling down. And the answer might just lie at his friend Jackie Barlow's farm. Hi, girl! Because after Julian's many stressful days helping her alpacas, it's time for them to help him find his zen in alpaca yoga. I've always enjoyed doing yoga. And I suggested coming and doing it in the alpaca field because they're quite curious animals and they do like to come over if there's anything going on in their field and have a quick look. Although Julian is a little late to class, He's seen plenty of downward dogs in his time. Sorry I'm late. I don't worry. I've got a, a dog to see with a yes. bad leg. I have done yoga before. I'm not at all an expert. I've done it a half a dozen times. I have to say, I find it a bit confusing. I, I, I struggle sometimes with the um, mental calming kind of elements. I'm, I'm more used to sort of kind of high octane activities. It's pretty gentle and you just do whatever you, you're up to. Just, I think I can just, put my hands in there like that. That doesn't look very yeah, bad. Yeah, no, it's dead easy. Feel the breeze and allow the body to just move a little. He does quite a lot of triathlons and that sort of thing, so I thought he might enjoy a bit of yoga outside, so we'll see if he's any good. Now become aware of the touch on your skin. It's a bit difficult with him, like he's getting in the way. Julian's very familiar with alpaca anatomy, but matching their flexibility is going to be a stretch. Alpacas use their back hooves to scratch any part of their body. I can't, I can't need anything with my back feet. And this pose is called downward alpaca. And then you're going to bring one leg up into the air. <laughs> I think I've got the hang of this. Feeling really relaxed. To connect to nature. I'm really asleep. 
As Julian finds inner peace, the alpacas have aligned their chakras elsewhere. They lost interest, didn't they? Yeah. They're a useful addition because they, they, they've got a natural calmness, haven't they, and a natural sort of serenity, and they bring that kind of vibe to it all. It's a totally different experience. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'd come to Jackie's fairly frequently, often in most stressful circumstances, but today there was no stress whatsoever. Totally different, but every bit as enjoyable. So uh, another interesting day on the alpaca farm.